It is time to decide exactly where I want the pool to be. I have three rules to follow on where to put the pool. The first rule is that it needs to be two and a half meters away from this hedge. That is so that the pool roof that will be on the pool has somewhere to go when I remove it from the pool. And it requires two and a half meter of space on this side of the pool. The second rule is that the pool needs to be parallel with the house. And that is just for aesthetics. And the third rule is that it should be in the center of this pit. As long as I follow those three rules, it will end up perfect. The sprayed lines they are only here to help me guide where the pool is going to be. They are not definitive or anything like that. They are just uh, rough estimations where the pool is going to be. So I know that I'm on track so I don't do anything stupid along the way. Now when I know where the pool is roughly going to be, I can with the laser get a parallel line with the house. This is the first corner I will define as where everything will go out from. And the reason why this corner is so important is that I can measure from the house to this point over here but from this corner I can't. There's no house there. There's no exact science where the first corner is gonna be and I have these reference lines already so I will just eyeball it. I need to keep in mind that all these lines are the inside corner of the pool and I need to put this pole at the outside corners which would add about four and a half centimeters so it would actually go around here somewhere. You know what? Because I'm gonna mark this out with a line I need to dig over here. So the line starts over here and goes like that and then another line over here that goes like that. So I get the uh, lines crossing exactly at the corner. I do not need to dig here. <laughs> right. Good job. And if you remember from the foundation video, I put the geotextile down here in the bottom. And this geotextile is insanely strong, so I need to cut it open before actually slamming my pole into the ground. The lines will be going somewhere around here and there. So this will be the corner. Not over here, so I changed it a little bit. What I'm trying to do here is that I want to line up the laser exactly where the corner is going to be. And I can just rotate this one to adjust the angle of the pool. And because I will get a laser line over there as well as over here that are exactly 90 degrees, I can fairly easy do the rest of the measurement of the pool. Now because it's very bright outside I will use this laser receiver thing to see where the laser is so I say. Alright so the laser is spot on in the corner right now so all I need to do now is to measure the distance from here to the wall and then do the same thing over there and that will give me a perfectly parallel line with the house. What I've done here is that I took this board and pressed it against the house like that. Oh and I find the middle like this. I'm just gonna tape it to the board. So now now this receiver is exactly about this laser. Now I move the board to over here and try to make it go straight out from the house like that. And now when I now when I adjust the laser over here, when this starts beeping, I know that it's perfectly parallel with the house.
So that's a parallel line with the house. To know where I can actually put my wooden poles for the for the pool, I need to dig up here and look where the pipe is. The pipe should be around here, but it can also be around here, and in that case I need to move this line over here. But that's okay, because I had room on the other side. So I just need to check where the pipe is. Yeah. So this is where the pipe is. So I need to move this line about 20 centimeters to here, over here to have room for everything. Yeah, about 20 centimeters would be good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have already moved the line. I wonder how much. 20 centimeters. Man, I can see into the future. <laughs> this is already fixed. How great is that? So all I need to do now is measure from here to the other side for the length of the pool plus the thickness of the walls. Here, it ends up about maybe over here, okay. which is clearly room for a pole over here. So that is perfect. Now, all I need to do is extend this one to over here somewhere. So, I hook up this measurement tape on the other pole. Leave a mark and cut the fabric exactly where I'm out it. And there we go. By adding back the gravel like this, I make the poles a little bit more sturdy. So the thing I'm gonna do now is to replace the laser with a normal line, like this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to mark out where the laser is on this pole over here. It's right there. Next up, just add an egg. Oh, look at that. It already had a little hoop on it. So I can just use that one. Like that. Now I just do the same thing on the other side. I just marked the string a little bit so that I know where I want the hoop to end. See? Exactly on the spike, like that. Perfect. Next up I'm gonna add a line from this pole to a pole over on the other side that I haven't added yet. But the great thing about this is that this rotation laser is a exactly 90 degree angle, so I know that this will be a 90 degree angle. There it is. Might be a little bit more tricky because of all the pipes. Yeah. Um, not just a little lighter. It's very tricky. I hooked up this measurement tape from the spike, the opposite pole, and this pool out of width is going to be 359, so I will just mark it over here. So this is 359, so by marking it like this I get a better understanding where I can put the poles and what I can play with. The poles for the line need to go over here and over here. Because the pool sides interlock with each other like this. So at the corner there will be a board sticking out about 15 centimeters or so. So it will end about here. And end about here. Which means I need to put my pole over here and over here. And I see no reason why I can't do that. So same thing here, just making a loop like that. 
Men then I go to the other side. And I put this one there. Uh, that's good enough. There we go. So the remaining thing to do now is to add a line from that side to that corner and from that corner back to this corner and we should be all done. Now the best way to test if this is truly 90 degree angles and truly rectangular would be to measure the diagonals. Meaning from this corner to that corner and from this corner to that corner. And the length between those corners should be exactly the same length. I have a friend over here and he helped me measure all the diagonals here and there's not much to say about it. It was almost perfect. It was just a small adjustment that I had to make. The diagonals was off by only one centimeter. That was actually really good, way better than I was hoping for. And it was really easy to fix. And I just added another nail off by a half centimeter here. And I did the same thing on the other side like that. I just moved it a tiny bit and then all the corners was just perfect, spot on. Nothing at all to complain about. Another thing I did was to put a small piece of board like that between the poles and that board will make them really stable. <laughs> 